American alligators grow to enormous lengths, but after doing some investigating, I think I found the largest alligator ever reported. The American alligator is an interesting animal for many reasons. Beyond it being one of the largest reptiles in the United States, it is one of the greatest conservation success stories in the world. The American alligator was close to becoming extinct, with the species mainly being killed for its valuable belly hide. It was during this time that the largest alligators were being targeted like there was no tomorrow. With pressures such as this and habitat destruction, the species was becoming endangered. However, with the successful conservation efforts that started in the 1970s, the American alligator bounced back. With an animal like this bouncing back to a point where public hunts are now legal and don't negatively impact their conservation status, it's the perfect species to see just how big they got in the past compared to now. The reports for the largest American alligator vary from source to source, and there does seem to be a drastic difference between historical reports and modern day records. Even the largest individuals of today have some debates about them, which leads me to my first alligator on my list. Mandy Stokes' American alligator, killed in 2014, was declared to be the largest alligator ever verifiably measured, at 15 feet 9 inches long, a true giant. The alligator was caught in Wilcox County, Alabama, and later turned into a full-body mount. While there is no doubt that this animal is the largest alligator ever verifiably measured, the 15 foot 9 inch measurement is actually inaccurate. In the paper, a new record for the maximum length of the American alligator, scientists examined the carcass of the alligator, along with the originally reported 15 foot 9 inch measurement. The paper stated, quote, representatives from Safari Club International measured the alligator after it had been decapitated and skinned. They combined the length of the head, 32 inches, with the length of the hide, 157 inches, to obtain their total length measurement." End quote. The problem with this, as the paper explains, is that the true length of American alligators is about 6% less than the length of its hide. The actual straight line measurement for the carcass ended up being 14 feet 9.25 inches, with an additional over the belly measurement giving a length of just over 15 feet. Bottom line, the alligator was around 15 feet in length, still the largest alligator verifiably measured, but not as big as what was reported. Reports of American alligators growing to 15 feet were long disputed, but with the record now existing, the most realistic maximum for American alligators is now recognized at 15 feet. Still, this is an extremely rare and not common occurrence. However, there is the chance that larger alligators were recorded in the past, way before verifiable record keeping was set in place, possibly around 20 feet. While there are a lot of these reports, let's look at some that I believe are the most noteworthy. In Edward Avery McElhenney's book, The Alligator's Life History, McElhenney noted an American alligator that was 17 feet 3 inches and was caught alive at Avery Island in Louisiana. The alligator was brought to his uncle, John Avery, in 1886. The alligator was shipped alive by boat in a crate and was meant to be delivered to the Smithsonian Institution up north. Unfortunately, a sailor decided to pour green paint on the alligator and brush on its back. The alligator died and was thrown overboard. What makes this story sad, if true, is that based on all the reports I've seen, this may have been the largest alligator to ever be captured alive, but now we'll never know if it's true or not because there's no evidence. The largest alligator allegedly caught in Florida was killed in 1956 and measured by herpetologist Wilfred T. Neal. The alligator was reported in his book The Last of the Ruling Reptiles and was killed in Lake Apopka. It was 17 feet 5 inches long. The length of the skull was about 23 inches long, making the head length to total body length ratio 1 to 8.93. The average head length ratio for American alligators is around 1 to 7.2 to 7.3. And Kent Fleet, a longtime expert on American alligators, has said, quote, the length of the head relative to body length remains more or less constant, end quote. But that's based on our understanding of animals only up to 15 feet. If this is true, American alligators would continue to get larger ratios like the saltwater crocodile when they get past the 16 foot mark, potentially up to 1 to 9. While it's hard to tell how old a crocodilian is, Neil had something quite interesting to say. Quote, the alligator was not a senile oldster, and in all save, its great size had the appearance of a young adult. I believe it would have continued to grow had not its life been ended by some local residents. Another American alligator in McElhenney's book is really interesting because there is actually some proof of its existence. The skin of a large American alligator killed in Marsh Island in 1916 was brought to McElhenney to be measured. 
Quote, the skin without stretching measured 17 feet 10 inches, with about 4 inches off the end of the tail, and the bone of the nose extended at least 4 inches beyond the point where the skin began on the under jaw. End quote. The photograph shows the skin after it had been tanned and shrank, but still measured 17 feet 9 inches. Given the fact that the original measurement was before the hide was processed and stretched, I don't believe the 6% reduction I mentioned before applies here. Either way, this photo, assuming the tape measure is real and accurate, seems to show an American alligator around 18 feet. The largest recorded American alligator that's often listed as credible comes from McElhenney himself. If you want to learn the full story surrounding this alligator, you can watch my video here. But the alligator was shot in 1890 and measured 19 feet 2 inches. The alligator was shot in Louisiana and was believed to be an old alligator as the teeth of the animal were worn down to the jawbone. The animal was measured with the barrel of McElhenney's gun with McElhenney making marks on the alligator's back with each measurement. He measured the alligator three times and got the same measurements every time. Supposedly, the alligator was too heavy to carry away and was left where it was shot. Although no physical evidence exists for this animal, McElhenney was regarded as one of the top experts on American alligators at this time, making many believe his report. However, there is the truth that McElhenney was known to exaggerate things when it came to his personal history, so it is unknown to me at least how much we should trust this story. While many list this alligator in particular to be the largest ever reportedly measured, that's not actually true. There are larger reports. Lepage du Prats, a French historian, reported two large alligators measured in the book History of Louisiana, which writes about his time in North America during the 1700s. One was killed by du Prats himself at 19 feet long, but he reported that a friend of his, M. Mahane, killed one that was 22 feet long. Not much is known about this animal, but supposedly du Prats stated that both of these animals had limbs that were, quote, not above a foot in length which seems like a strange statement and probably not true. Either way, I'm not surprised time forgot about this animal, as it only had three sentences total referencing it, along with the fact McElhenney was a known algier expert and businessman. One man time has not forgotten though is a Quaker naturalist by the name of William Bartram. He is most notable for his adventures in the southeastern parts of the British colonies in North America. Among his reports in a book called Bartram's Travels, which takes place in the 1770s, he reported of monster gators, some even exceeding 22 feet. Quote, I have seen them 20 feet in length, and some are supposed to be 22 or 23 feet. End quote. Bartram also noted that a full-grown head of an alligator is around 3 feet long, but it is unknown what length he considered fully grown for an American alligator. If we use a range of 20 to 23 feet, and assume his definition of the head meant from the tip of the snout to the end of the cranial platform, that would indicate a head length to total body length ratio of about 1 to 6.67 to 7.67, which seems to be too small of a ratio for a big animal, especially if Neil's 17 footer had a ratio of just under 1 to 9. However, if Bartram's definition of head length meant from the tip of the snout to the posterior margin of the lower jaw, the 3 foot statement could be reasonable. Based on this definition of head length, Neil's 17 foot animal had a ratio of 1 to 7.4. If that's the case, Bartram could have had accurate visual estimation and the animals could have been real. While all the animals I've stated before are impressive reports, they are dwarfed by the animal I am about to reveal. The largest American alligator ever reported seems to have been 27 feet long and caught in 1885 Louisiana. Although the original source of the news is currently unknown, it was reported on August 19, 1885 with the following statement in a newspaper. Quote, that 27 feet alligator that weighed fresh 783 and a half pounds and was killed by the joint efforts of all the inhabitants of Natchitoches armed with guns and axes is still going the rounds. And the review of that town offers to drop half a pound in weight by way of accommodation to Downing Thomas's, but nary inch will it yield of the 27 feet. If true, this would be not only the largest American alligator ever caught, but perhaps one of the largest crocodilians ever killed. However, there is one major problem when reading this report. Besides the fact that no physical evidence remains for this alligator, the weight is absurdly low for an alligator of this size. The following article examined this alligator and by using this equation, this American alligator should have been around 5,575 pounds. 
that is over a 4,000 pound difference in weight from what was reported. With all this in mind, this news report either misreported a crucial detail about the Algiers' true size, or this report is all fake. After all the investigating I have done looking into giant American alligators, the largest alligator that has the best chance of being verifiable is the giant skin of a supposed 18-foot American alligator in McElhenney's book. It is the only giant American alligator report that was not only measured by a well-respected expert, there was also photographic evidence to show this animal really existed. While there is not much verifiable evidence of extremely large American alligators, I do believe that animals of up to 18 feet were once more common for the species. I would even say it was possible that animals up to 20 feet existed before the mass hunting that almost caused American alligators to go extinct. Although it's unfortunate that alligators of over 15 feet seem to no longer be common, I hope that one day we will find an animal of enormous size and that it's caught alive. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.